Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Joe, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be talking about some of the reading plans that I have for the month of May. Normally I don't even attempt to do a TBR solely because I am a huge mood reader and I also like to binge series. If I pick up the first book in a series and I love that book, then you best believe I am reading the rest of the available books in that series. You can see my mess on my bed. Let's go fix that. So we're gonna try out this month a TBR. It's not even like a strict TBR. These are just some of the books that um, I am planning to read, I may not read, who knows. So the SJM along is still in full swing and this month we are reading Air of Fire book three in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Mass. So I will be reading this at the beginning of the month, which it's already the beginning of the month. So let's, we gotta get on it. Um, and then for the second half of the month, we are reading A Court of Florence and Roses, which is the first book in the Akatar series by Sarah J Mass. I love both of these books. I'm really excited to get into Air of Fire solely because Air of Fire is the book that starts getting the series going. It starts getting its momentum. There's a huge tonal shift in this book compared to the other, the previous two. So I'm excited to get into this. A Court of Thorns and Roses. I mean, I love this series, obviously. Something that I'm carrying over from the pretty much the very last day of April is uh, the Stay a Spell series by Juliet Cross. And I am planning on finishing out the, th the other two books that are available in this series as well as the uh, little novella collection because the fourth book is coming out soon. This book series follows the Savoy sisters who are witches in New Orleans. So in the first book, Wolf Gone Wild, Evie Savoy, who is a hexbreaker, is approached by Matteo, who is a werewolf, who has unfortunately had a hex curse put on him to where he cannot shift. The Savoys originally have this rule where they do not help werewolves, but of course we gotta make an exception for a super cute cinnamon roll werewolf. It's really good. I really Really loved it. It's a slow burn. It's spicy. It's fantastic. This is not a review, Jordan. This is not a review. The next book that I'm hoping to read in the month of May is not this one. The second one, the dark one, uh, which is book two in the Vicious Lost Boys series by Nikki St. Crow. It's a reverse harem Peter Pan retelling, dark Peter Pan retelling, in which on their 18th birthday, every single darling woman has been kidnapped from their home by Peter Pan for some unknown reason. And on her 18th birthday, Winnie's mother is frantic and trying to keep Peter Pan out as much as she can, but she cannot. And Winnie ends up being taken by Peter Pan. Like I said, it's a reverse harem. I still am a little bit iffy about reverse harems. I'm not sure how I feel about them. I'm moderately excited to read the dark one. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes good, we'll see. So the next book that I'm wanting to read in the month of May is The Longing of Lone Wolves. I've seen this on TikTok, on BookTok. It's like Fae Guardians meets Wolf Shifters meets the guy on the cover looks like Geralt of Rivia and I have a thing for that man. So it looks like The Witcher but sexy fantasy fae guardian vibes. Um, I don't know much about this series. I've just seen people posting about it and seeing little quotes from the book and it just makes me want to read it. I'm excited to see it's supposed to be an enemies to lovers and the guy reminds me of Geralt. So that's, that's where we're going with that. So the next book that I'm hoping to pick up in the month of May is Zodiac Academy, The Awakening by Caroline Peckham and Susan, Suzanne Valenti. Don't know if it's Susan or Suzanne. I'm sorry, Susan, Suzanne. So this is the first book in the Zodiac Academy series. I have seen this book everywhere on Book Talk and it has been haunting me. So I, I got it for my birthday and I really want to pick it up. I've seen a lot of people um, raving about it on TikTok and also a lot of people crying over multiple events that happen in the books. I have not been spoiled for anything, so much so that I don't really know what it's about other than that it is supposedly set at a magical academy for Fae. Is it Fae? I don't know. Um, that is based on the zodiac signs. So we're gonna see. I want to pick it up. I want to see what it is. I'm, I, I, is it a bully romance? I feel like people are talking about it like it's a bully romance. It might be a bully romance. We'll see. I have no clue. So the next book that I want to pick up in the month of May is The Unseelie Prince by Catherine Ann Kingsley. This is the book that I see everywhere going around where the third book in the series has a like little blurb at the very beginning pretty much saying 
by the way, they have sex in this one, I promise. And I feel like I'm in the mood for that kind of slow burn. This is book one in the Maze of Shadow series, and the only thing I know about this one is that there is an unseelie prince, and in order to become king, which he wants to do, he must take a bride. So it sounds like maybe arranged marriage, sounds maybe like enemies to lovers, I don't know. So those are the books and series that I want to pick up in the month of May. Let me know down below what your top number one want to read book in the month of May is. That was an awkward what sentence. But let me know down below what is the book you are most excited to get to in the month of May. That's all I have for you guys today and I will see you guys next time. Scooch it babes.